What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in live on the Earthquake 3D stream. Uh, we've got a pretty powerful earthquake out there in the Atlantic region. Mid-Atlantic Rift region. Seems like we're getting a little bit on the stronger side out there. We have seen some activity within the past couple weeks or so. Uh, moderate sized quakes out here and even within the past month. But now we're looking at a pretty good sized quake there. 6.8 magnitude striking the Atlantic out there. Let's go back in here real quick. You can see the law, the pretty strong seismograph uh, readings here from that earthquake. Uh, definitely gonna be rocking the globe here for a little bit, showing it tremendously on all the stations across the globe. Let's go over here real quick here. Excuse me, and check out the map here. <clears throat> 6.8, that's gonna be this one out here in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge region. This here is kind of a Kind of a breakage point right there. You can see the uh, pretty large um, marked areas out here along this ridge. I want to go way back in time here. Of course, South America fits in there in that little section. Anyway, we're not going to go into history class. This is 6.8. Check out the specifics of this quake real quick from the Tsunami Warning Center. See if they did issue any type of warning. I don't believe there's going to be, but it's always a good idea to definitely check it here uh, what we've got here east coast the east coast what do we got there there's no tsunami danger for the east coast or the gulf of mexico states an earthquake has occurred with these per parameters listed below 6.8 right there depth 21 miles near the central mid-atlantic ridge region so once again no tsunami state or no tsunami warning or advisory or anything for that matter uh, just you know some statements put out there which is expected for a pretty good sized earthquake this large so that's a good thing uh, we start getting into the seven and eight magnitudes out there I don't even know if that's really possible out there uh, well now they just upgraded it to a 6.9 see that it was originally a 6.8, upgraded to a 6.9 from the USGS there. Uh, pretty good sized quake. Shortly after that, we started to see pressure and activity over here towards the United States. Uh, 3.8 quake struck uh, there in Texas. Just let me check something out here real quick. I'm going to go back to the 6.9 Central Mid-Atlantic Ridge region. And you can see... Here on this map, the uh, this is kind of like historical seismic activity out there. We have seen some big ones, no doubt, in the region. But they do kind of follow that rift area all along the plate uh, region there throughout the Atlantic. It's right there in that hot spot of activity where we've seen quite a bit of earthquake activity. Oh, well, throughout history there. So not a strange quake. They can definitely happen out there for sure. And uh, this is definitely a, a pretty large one, that's for sure. Let's go cover this Texas quake here real quick, see if it's been reviewed. It looks like one person reported feeling it. Um, status is on it, it is reviewed. A lot of times during large quakes, like that 6.9 we just had, will trigger a, uh, a false reading on a seismograph station here at a distance. It doesn't matter if it's close nearby or um, at a distance such, such as Texas. but. It shows reviewed magnitude 3.8 striking near uh, Minnetone, Texas at a depth of about five kilometers or so. So uh, definitely some movement and some pressure transfer being immediately produced up here towards the uh, west and northwest here. So that kind of puts potentially California out here on alert for uh, some activity. We'll have to keep an eye on that and see, uh, see what becomes of it. So once again, a 6.9 magnitude quake striking the mid-Atlantic region here on the map. You can see that red circle, the depth 10 kilometers below the surface here. Stay safe, everyone. We will chat you guys a little bit later in the update video.